A plot to detonate a bomb on a U.S. bound jetliner has been stopped by the CIA. Officials say Al Qaeda was planning to use a more sophisticated version of the underwear bomb used in a failed terror plot in 2009. Joining us now from Washington, D.C., is Matthew Doss from the Center of American Progress. Good morning. Good morning. And is this another demonstration that Al Qaeda is still very much a threat? Well, I think it demonstrates that they're still actively trying to attack Americans and, and, and seeking out new uh, ways to do that. But I think it also shows that you know, they're under a lot of pressure. Um, and the pressure that's been brought to bear on them by the United States and the United States' cooperation with security services in countries like Yemen are, are forcing al-Qaeda to make a lot of mistakes, the sort of mistakes that throw up just the sort of clues that led to this plot being stopped. And Matthew, how was this bomb different and what can intelligence officials learn from it? Uh, well, as to the specifics of how this bomb was different, I, I, I don't have that information, but it's from what I've read, it was the same bomb maker, Ibrahim al-Asiri, who was responsible for the previous underwear bomb, um, Umar Farouk Abdul Talib, um, who attempted to blow up an airliner over Detroit uh, in 2009, um, and also the same bomb maker who was responsible for the, the explosives that al-Qaeda tried to put into some uh, printers that they then tried to, to, to mail uh, using airliners. Um, both of those plots failed, but it's the same bomb maker, and we can see that he's been hard at work trying to come up with new explosives that are, are not as easily detectable. Now, we've heard there was never any threat to the public. Uh, why not? Well, it seems that they, from what I've read, that uh, the United States intelligence services were able to, to, to stop this before the, uh, the perpetrator had even chosen a flight uh, to board. Um, as I understand it, um, they do have an explosive device. They have captured a suspect, but it had not advanced to a stage where he had bought a ticket or, or had even chosen um, a, a flight uh, to attack. Now, taking a look at airport security, after the underwear bomber incident, we saw more body scanners in airports across the nation. Does this plot have any effect or will it have any effect on security at the airport? Well, I think in the short term, we could probably expect to see security just being much more on alert. Um, but I think a, a couple things. Um, secured at the airport, while the goal is obviously if someone is carrying, ex carrying an explosive to detect that explosive, it's also to cause would-be terrorists to cause them more trouble as they develop as they develop new plots and in making those plots more complicated for them that causes them to make more mistakes and throw off more clues precisely the sort of sort of clues that led to this plot being conducted uh, or excuse me being detected um, I would make another point, though, that one of the goals of terrorism is to cause the, the targeted population to change their behavior. For us as Americans to act out of fear, to avoid travel, to change the way we go about our lives. So I would say, you know, one response would just be to continue to travel as we would otherwise. And when it comes to fighting terrorism, what, in your opinion, is the Obama administration doing right? Well, I think we've seen from the very, very early days of the Obama administration, President Obama making very clear that he was going to tighten the focus onto the war against al-Qaeda. Um, the Bush administration, I think, had a somewhat broader definition of the threat. Um, the Obama administration, rightly in my view, has chosen to focus uh, pretty tightly on al-Qaeda and its affiliates. We've seen uh, great success putting pressure on al-Qaeda and the kind of core al-Qaeda leadership in the Afghanistan, Pakistan area, taking out a a, a large number of key leaders putting a lot of pressure on them, including their, their top leader, Osama bin Laden, um, and forcing al-Qaeda central to sort of outsource its, its, its goals of attacking Americans to affiliates like al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula. Um, these groups like AQAP will continue to be a threat, but I don't think there's any question that the Obama administration has had some considerable success in diminishing al-Qaeda's ability to attack Americans. All right. Thank you very much, Matthew. Matthew from the Center of American Progress. Thank you very much. My pleasure.